ഹായ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂ ദ റേഡിയോഗ്രാഫി ക്ലാസ്സസ് ഐ ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ആ ഫ്ലോറോസ്കോപ്പി പാർട്ട് വൺ എ കപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഡേയ്സ് ബിഫോർ സോ ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂ ദ സെയിം എൻ സി ക്യൂസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ഫ്ലോറോസ്കോപ്പി ദറ്റ് ഈസ് പാർട്ട് ടു സോ ദോസ് ഹു ഹാവ് നോട്ട് യെറ്റ് വാച്ച് പാർട്ട് വൺ ഹാവ് എ വാച്ച് ടു പാർട്ട് വൺ ദെൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് പാർട്ട് വൺ of fluoroscopy will be discussed for today's session i have completed hcbc registration all about the hcbc registration it's query everything i have completed uh, those who are planning for uk registration do have a watch to do all those videos even ireland coro registration have also been completed if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions or if you have any a uh, study material for gcc means licensing exam for the gulf countries you can just whatsapp me or you can mail me okay i'll forward you the uh, study materials uh i am having few of the whatsapp groups that is radiography coaching group nhs that is uk interview yeah. special then ncpc registration then coru registration as well as cmrt that is canadian certification group is also there shortly i will be doing a video related with canadian association or the canadian certification exam uh, for the time being i will be due to the request of many of the viewers i'll be continuing the ncqs related with our radiographers or radiography exams uh, question and answers ncqs will be discussed within uh, one day i'll be completing fluoroscopy thereafter i will be starting the mcqs related with ct tomography computer tomography as well as mri so if you like all my videos and if my videos are very helpful for you please do support me uh, by sharing among your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon to so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading so patiently watch till the end and stay tuned let us begin part 2 tutorial of fluoroscopy moving on to the 11th question when an image intensifier receive x ray at the input phosphor what is emitted at the output phosphor option a electrons option b infrared light option c ultraviolet light and option d is visible light the answer is option d visible light let's see the explanation the output phosphor is a component of an image intensifier in fluoroscopic system that converts energy from the electrons into light photons moving on to the next question question number 12 which of the following is the input phosphor of image intensifier option a cadmium phosphor option b calcium tungstate option c cesium iodide and option d is sodium iodide The answer is option C, cesium iodide. So let's see the explanation. Most modern image intensifier use cesium iodide for the input phosphor because it has a high absorption efficiency and thus decreases patient dose. Moving on to the next question, question number 13. The photocathode converts option A, electron into visible light, option B, visible light into electrons, option c visible light into x ray and option d is x ray into electrons the answer is option b visible light into electrons so let's see the explanation photocathode is a surface engineered to convert light photons into electrons using the photoelectric effect moving on to the next question question number 14 which of the following is a component of an image intensifier responsible for focusing the electron b option a electrostatic lens option b glass envelope option c input phosphor and option d is output phosphor the answer is option a electrostatic lens So let's see the explanation that the function of an electrostatic lens in an image intensifier tube is to focus the electrons from the photocathode increase the speed of the electrons contents the image to increase its brightness moving on to the next question question number 15 the ability of an image intensifier to increase image illumination is called 
ऑप्शन ए ऑटोमेटिक ब्राइटनेस ऑप्शन बी ब्राइटनेस गेन ऑप्शन सी फ्लैक्स गेन ऑप्शन डी इल्यूमिनेशन गेन द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ब्राइटनेस गेन Moving on to the next question, question number 16. The minification gain of an image intensifier increases with increasing option A, input phosphor size, option B, KVP, KVP means kilo voltage peak, option C, MA, milli ampere and option D is output phosphor size. So the answer is option A, input phosphor size. Let us see the explanation. A brighter image is a result of the high energy electrons striking a small output phosphor. The reduction in the size of the output uh, phosphor image is compared with the input phosphor image also increases the light intensity that is minification gain. Moving on to the next question, question number 17. During fluoroscopy, Option A, real-time dynamic viewing. Option B, spot film taken. Option C, contrast study. And option D is all above. The answer is option D, all above. So, fluoroscopy is a real-time imaging modality or imaging viewing. And depending upon the pathology, the spot films will be taken. And this uh, fluoroscopy is undertaken by giving contrast. Moving on to the next question, question number 18. The patient dose during fluoroscopy as compared to radiography. Option A, much high. Option B, low. Option C, equal. Option D, none above. The answer is option A, much high. So, let's see the explanation. Fluoroscopy can result in relatively high radiation doses, especially for complex interventional procedures such as placing tents, tent or other devices inside the body which require fluoroscopy be administered for a long period of time. Radiation related risk associated with fluoroscopy include radiation induced injuries to the skin and underlying tissues or burns which occur shortly after the exposure and radiation induced cancer which may occur sometime later in life. Moving on to the next question, question number 19. Illumination level during fluoroscopy is measured in Option A. Luminescence per square meter or lux. Option B. Ampere. Option C. Watt. Option D. None of the above. The answer is Option A. Luminescence per square meter or lux. So let's see the explanation. The lux is the SI derived of illuminescence measuring luminescence flux per unit area. Moving on to the next question, question number 20. Brightness gain in image intensifier is option A, product of minification gain and flux gain, option B, minification gain by flux gain, option C, minification gain plus flux gain and option D is minification gain minus flux gain. The answer is option A, minification gain into flux gain. So let's see the explanation. The total brightness gain of an image intensifier is the product of minification gain and flux gain. The size of the output window of an image intensifier is usually between 1.5 and 6 cm in diameter. Hope you all are clear with today's session. Uh, so with that, I'm winding up today's session. Stay tuned for my next update till Sunday. Since Sunday is the day I used to upload videos. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned for my next update. Until then, bye-bye.